Mm. So I know it's been like a month since the last time I recorded anything at all. And I still haven't even uploaded that video. <laughs> I just finished editing it like a month, like two days ago. But I thought I'd update you on what I've been doing lately. It's kind of shameful actually. But I, I had a friend back in kindergarten who gave me these magnets. And they were soap net magnets. As a five year old, granted, nobody knew. I didn't even know what soap net was back then, let alone what half the shows were. Because I have like General Hospital, My Children, Days of Our Lives, all of that stuff. And yes, they're all still on TV today. But back then I didn't watch them, didn't even know what they were. <laughs> and I used them in the sixth grade. And then somebody stole them out of my locker because I was stupid and left them in the locker on the last combination. Don't ever do that, BTW, because that's how your crap gets stolen. And I just recently got into some of the shows, so I'm kind of mad that those got stolen. But it's it's all good because the I, I know for sure that the character that I like wasn't on those magnets because his character didn't get introduced till 2005 and it was back in 1999 that I got those magnets. So I was like, whatever, not a big deal. But I'm hugely obsessed with this show, with one of the shows now. I had went to a local discount store in my in my town looking for a certain DVD that came out years ago. Um, and they didn't have it anymore. But I did find this one DVD, and it wasn't what I thought it was. I thought it was a different show. Anybody else watch The Night Shift? Like, the actual show, The Night Shift? Yeah, that's what I thought it was. But it turned out to be something completely different. But it did also jumpstart my obsession into the show. But I ended up buying General Hospital Night Shift. As you can tell, I thought it was the... The night shift that comes on now on NBC, but it's not. I started watching like the first two minutes and I was like, this is not the show I thought it was. And it was at that point I was like, nope, I'm not going to get invested. I'm just going to watch the show and if something bad happens, I'm not going to cry. Screw that plan. I cried anyway. I did get emotionally attached to uh, Robin here because she broke up with Patrick. And I don't like breakups, but it I cry at weddings, breakups, funerals, you name it, I cry. It doesn't even matter if I know you or not. I cry at goodbyes for crying out loud. And I don't even, it doesn't even matter if I've watched the show for five minutes or five years. Because <laughs> I turned on a really old show um, yesterday. And one of the characters was leaving to go back to England. And I just started crying. He was leaving his friends to go back to England. I was like, God damn it. I'm not, I don't even know who these people are and I'm crying. I think it's just the situation that I end up crying at. But anyway, I get obsessed with their characters and I've watched this this season like five times because season two is not out on DVD. I actually have to look those all up on YouTube and me not having Wi-Fi at home right now, I can't really do that here. So I am completely obsessed with the show though. I've also been told that I look a lot like Kimberly McCullough who plays Robin. And if any of you watch General Hospital, you know. But anyway, I had to start watching General Hospital because there was this huge time jump between the end of season one of Night Shift and the beginning of season two of Night Shift. So I was like, crap, I gotta find out what happened. And I finally figured out what happened. And I was like, okay, now I can continue with season two. And I started to continue with it. And now, there, there's this little obsession that I have. I have to go back and find every episode that she's ever been in. But anyway, apparently I look a little bit about like her and I talk a little bit like her. Um, she's a good friend of mine, actually. Uh, she's a director, like me. I'm starting a short you film. Can? I'm done. Oh, okay, cool. Sorry for the interruption. But, um, but I've become obsessed with the, the show in general. And... I don't know. I just watched the episode today. Um, Robin isn't in the show as much anymore as Patrick is. I actually did watch Patrick a couple days ago. I'm gonna ignore the background. That's my dad being an idiot. Okay. But I, I did start to like go back and watch some of them, but I'm not gonna go all the way back to 1963 to watch the first ever episode of General Hospital. That's just stupid. 
that was before my friend Kimberly was even born. But anyway, she's like a huge director of me. I have a short film coming out pretty soon. I'm working on getting that filmed and everything and talking to the cast. I did just write my first ever one. She's very proud of me for that. I'm yeah, very like proud that? of myself. Yes. Huh? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Again. Like I said, I have an intrusive, intrusive family. You've learned that in the first vlog that I did. And my dog's staring at me right now. My shoulder just started to hurt. But, yes. I am very much mostly invested in this show. And I will very much make sure that you get to see a picture of Kimberly. I will put it in this vlog for you to watch and experience and look at. But, you will see there are similarities between us. And we have discussed them. Talking on the phone is very different. Talking to her. Definitely very different. Most of you don't know who she is. If you've ever watched Legally Blonde, she played Amy. And that, I just recently rewatched that and I was like, holy crap, there she is. It's a very small role, but uh, it was very impacted on me. I, I found it pretty amazing. Hold on. I'm trying to unplug my computer here. But uh, I found it very empowering and impactive. But um, yeah, if you want to go back and rewatch Legally Blonde, she played Amy. Um, but she's mostly known for her role in General Hospital. But, uh, she's a good friend of mine. I enjoy her. Uh, she's good company. Um, she's good friends with, um, her co-star Pat, who plays Patrick, Jason Thompson. He's amazing. Check out some of his music. There's a, there's a couple songs on iTunes. Um, he's, he's really good at it. You can look up on YouTube those two singing. Um, you just look up General Hospital, Robin and Patrick singing. They're both pretty good at it, but, um, I don't know. I thought I'd update you, and I will make sure I put the picture in there for you to lovely look at right about now. Hello, everyone! So, it's the next day. I'm ready for work. Kind of sad. I just woke up, like, an hour ago at, like, 1 o'clock, and I was like, crap, I gotta go to work. But I'm getting my Christmas on. Yeah, that was weird, right? I do plan on vlogging on Christmas because I'm doing a couple things on Christmas that um, <clears throat> that you wouldn't normally see me do. So, on Christmas, I am going to be opening my gifts. You're not going to see that part though because that's going to take a while for us. We we tend to we have a tradition in my family where they'll hand us one and then they'll hand my brother one, and then um, I'll open mine first and we have to wait for him to get his open before they'll hand us another one. So it, the process takes forever. It's not like we can just rip them all open at the same time. They actually hand them to us so that we don't fight over it or whatever. But can't wait to see the expression of my mom's face when she sees hers. I got her an elephant picture. She's not supposed to know, so shh. But, and then my mom's boss is coming over for a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's before or after we go over to my uncle's house for dinner. But, uh, that should be fun, right? I've got Christmas cards for the people on my floor at the hospital that I work at because they've been amazing to me in this past month and a half. And I could not ask for better co-workers. <laughs> Let me just say that. <clears throat> Pardon me. But my mom just helped me fix my hair because it looked like crap. Well, it didn't look so bad. It had this huge curl over here, which looked kind of cute, but it was sticking up in the back, so she helped me fix that. My hair's finally shoulder length though, and I'm very happy with it. But, I thought I'd update you guys and give you a look at what I do, how I do, before Christmas. So, happy 23rd of December. You probably won't see this until probably tomorrow. So, I love you guys.